If you could bring your attention to Nicholas, please. Hi, everyone. Hello. Trans talking. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Nicholas Love, and I am here today to talk to you about how 1040 will affect me. 1040 is not about the bathroom. 1040 <laughs> is about dignity. It's about respect. It's about the ability to have human rights. It's 1045. What did I change? 1045. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little stressful. 1045 is not about bathrooms. It's about dignity, respect. It's human rights. It's about discrimination. It's about hate based on ignorance and fear. This bill will impact many people's lives. This is not a bill against transgender people. That may be who they're aiming for, but that is not who they're going to affect. They're going to affect every single person who does not fit into what our society believes, the binary approach to gender. It will affect everyone. It will affect me as a transgender person, but it will affect my child. It will affect my wife. It affects every one of us who have family, who care about anyone. It is about how you express yourself. It is about your characteristics, your mannerism. That is how they are talking about this. So today they say you look too feminine to pee in the men's bathroom. You look too masculine to pee in the women's bathroom. What are they gonna say we look like tomorrow? Who are they gonna talk to about tomorrow? This impacts all of us, all of us, every human being has a gender expression and identity. This is not about protecting our wives and our children from predators in the bathroom. There are laws for that already. This is about protecting people. And you do not want me in the women's bathroom. If I walk into the women's bathroom, I'm gonna scare the hell out of a lot of little old ladies. And I'm gonna endanger my life. Bathrooms are scary enough when you're transgender. There is a fear every time you feel that tingle that you got to pee of where can I go? And who is going to follow me in? And more importantly, who's going to follow me out and kill me? As Ira talked about, we are being killed because of how people think we should be. We in this country are protecting sexual orientation at a wonderful rate, and I thank you for that. But people are not discriminated against mostly, and not killed mostly because of orientation. It's about their gender expression. It is what people believe another person is, or what they do. And no one knows what is under our clothes, nor should they. There is nothing about us that makes us any different than any other human being. When you are born in the United States, they do a very detailed examination, very scientific or medical thing. They open your legs and they say, yes, no, pink, blue, and you go live your life accordingly. I am not that documentation. We are not that documentation based on that examination. We are people. There are people everywhere who do not fit and to this binary approach of man and woman. One in 100 individuals are born where you don't have 100% male or 100% female going on in your genitals. And we don't know this about each other. Why? Because we don't give a damn. We just wanna pee. We just wanna be able to go into a locker room and work out. We just wanna be able to raise our families and take care of our lives. But no, we have to stand outside in this hot weather and give a crap about peeing. Today, in 2013, we care about where you pee? That's bullshit. We have time and money to waste on this? No. This is about dignity, respect. We have money that we need to take care of families, our health care, our immigrants. We cannot waste time on this anymore. And if you don't think this applies to you because you're not transgender, you're wrong. It applies to every human being because every human being has a gender expression and the right to express it as they choose. So I hope that anyone who's listening to this will act and will protect themselves and us. And we all need to unite and not just come out when there's a moment of hate, but protect each other every time we can. 
We need to stay safe and strong together. We need to be able to protect our families. We need to be able to be there and be part of the society. We are human beings and we deserve that respect. Thank you.